Hello everyone. I am Dr. Rohan Gokhale, your professor for Introduction to Computer Science at MetaU. And today we will begin our exciting journey into the vast and fascinating world of computer science. Now, what is computer science? Simply put, computer science is the study of algorithms, data structures, and the principles behind the design and operation of computer systems. It involves both theoretical and practical aspects and has many applications in fields ranging from artificial intelligence to finance. The history of computer science can be traced back to the mid-20th century, when the first electronic computers were developed. However, the roots of the field go back much further, to the work of mathematicians such as Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage, who envisioned the use of machines to perform complex calculations. In this course, we will cover a wide range of topics, from programming fundamentals to computer systems and software engineering. We will start with the basics, including the different types of programming languages, algorithms and data structures, and gradually build up to more advanced topics. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, why do I need to study computer science? I just want to learn how to code. Well, my dear students, let me tell you that computer science is much more than just coding. It is about problem solving, critical thinking, and creativity. It is about developing the skills and knowledge necessary to tackle complex real-world problems and create innovative solutions. And if I may add a witty joke here, if you think about it, computer science is a bit like magic. You type some lines of code and suddenly the computer does exactly what you want it to do. Of course, there's a lot of hard work and frustration involved, but when you finally get that code to work, it's a magical feeling. In conclusion, I am excited to embark on this journey with you all and to introduce you to the wonderful world of computer science. Let's get started. Programming is essentially the process of creating software that can be executed by a computer. It is a fundamental skill in computer science and it allows us to create applications that can automate tasks, analyze data, and even interact with users. To get started with programming, we need to understand some basic concepts. One of the most fundamental concepts is variables. Variables are used to store data and give them names so we can refer to them later. For example, we might have a variable called x that stores the value 10. Another important concept is control structures, which allow us to control the flow of our program. This includes things like loops, which allow us to repeat a block of code multiple times, and conditional statements, which allow us to execute different blocks of code depending on certain conditions. Of course, we need to write our code in a programming language that the computer can understand. There are many programming languages out there, but in this course, we will be using Python, one of the most popular programming languages for beginners. Python is a high-level programming language that is known for its simplicity and readability. It is often used in scientific computing, data analysis, and machine learning. And the best part is it's very easy to get started with. Now, I know some of you may be feeling a bit intimidated by the idea of programming. But fear not, my dear students. Programming is not as difficult as it may seem. And with a bit of practice, you'll be able to write your own programs in no time. And if I may add a bit of humor here, programming can be a bit like baking a cake. You need to follow a recipe or algorithm to get the right result. But there's also some room for creativity and experimentation. And just like baking a cake, sometimes your program may not turn out exactly as you planned. But don't worry. That's all part of the learning process. In conclusion, programming is a fundamental skill in computer science, and it allows us to create amazing things with computers. I hope you are all excited to dive into the world of programming with Python and learn some programming fundamentals along the way. Let's get coding. Computer systems are the backbone of modern technology, and understanding how they work is essential for any computer scientist. In this topic, we will dive into the inner workings of a computer system, from the hardware to the software. At a high level, a computer system consists of three main components. The input-output devices, such as the keyboard and monitor, the central processing unit, CPU, and the memory. The CPU is the brain of the computer, responsible for executing instructions, while the memory stores data and instructions that the CPU needs to access.